It's no secret that Star Citizen takes the cake for me when it comes to 6 degree of freedom flight. The one thing that always frustrates me though is how when you take off from a planet and hit orbit, the laws of physics fall apart entirely. You can fly straight up, leave the gravity well, and just sit there in a pretend synchronous orbit, as if gravity just ceases to exist. And I understand why. Don't get me wrong, Star Citizen is not a space orbital simulator. It's a game where the rule of cool and beginner-friendly entry levels are very important. If you want orbital mechanics, Kerbal Space Program is typically the go-to to enjoy proper orbital velocities and gravitational rules. I've always been on the lookout though for a game that does both, by providing an enjoyable flight model where I can be in control of my spaceship with a dual stick setup, but then also provide those realistic orbital mechanics where flying straight up won't just do it, but instead you need to reach proper orbital velocities to actually stay up there in orbit. And I've found it. I'd like to introduce to you Flight of Nova. Flight of Nova offers an incredible flight model. The ship reacts very natural to your inputs. Thrusters behave as you'd expect, and the handling is incredibly dynamic based on aerodynamic resistances that shift during changes in speed and altitude. And damn, the external camera does a really good job at showing the motions in the ocean. There's a VTOL toggle as well, which allows you to rotate the main engines down and hover. As you can see, crashing is spectacular with parts of your ship disintegrating. But the real fun part is running missions, where you haul cargo around from one place to another in a variety of ships. There is something very special and immersive about taking off from somewhere, kicking the ship into cruise mode and passing Mach 1 as you haul your cargo off to its destination. Kicking the ship back into VTOL mode and landing smoothly using the onboard landing camera MFD shows exactly what's below you as you descend. Now before we look at throwing our ship into space, a couple of facts about Flight of Nova. It is developed by a single developer called David Lloyd. He's making the game he couldn't find anywhere and uses the Unity game engine. The vision for this game is all about procedural missions, career modes, interplanetary travel, threats, and story elements. Interplanetary travel is something I'm very curious about, because there is something very exciting about playing the slingshot game as you set up to leave one orbit and enter another. As we speed up and set course for orbit, the game changes. You're not just flying through Atmo, but instead are focusing on reaching a target in orbit at the right time and speed. And this is complicated, and the ship's computers do an exceptional job at telling you exactly what you need to do to reach your target. It's not easy, but it's also not incredibly hard. Anyone can do this if they take a second to understand how it works using the MFDs in the ship as a tool. Essentially, the computers will help guide you to the altitude of your target, on the appropriate prograde heading, and tell you to speed up to the same speed as your target when you reach the point where you are just about to transition from an ascending altitude to a descending altitude. This will then put you in a successful orbit, close to your target. A billion micro adjustments later, and it is hard using just mains, and you'll be real close and set up for docking using your RCS maneuvering thrusters. There is something so incredibly awesome about seeing the planet whip past you as you look down beyond the space station. This is exactly what I meant earlier. You really feel like you're hauling ass. 
You're not just in a fake synchronous position above the planet's surface. You're moving, you're falling, and it all balances out between you and the other occupants of your relative vicinity. The docking computer is awesome. With the hatch on the top of your ship, your inputs realign themselves so that when you use the docking camera, pushing forward on the stick sees you move forward in the direction of the camera, making it really easy to fly and dock even when the hatch isn't on the front of your ship. This can get a little awkward in games like Star Citizen, for example. Planet re-entry is also super exciting. There's this fine balance between entering too fast and bursting into many pieces and entering too shallow, which sees you bouncing off the atmosphere as your ship is slowly introduced to an increasing atmospheric pressure. I found it so cool when I set myself up on a little personal mission to re-enter and land with only 1% fuel remaining, that pitching up at a shallow angle saw me bouncing up and down in altitude, as if I could surf the outer boundaries of the atmosphere itself. This is exactly what would happen when you have enough speed. Pitching up and increasing the angle of attack will see your altitude increase for a while at the cost of speed, until of course you slow down enough and make your way down at which point I learned Feel is just about enough to land. <laughs>